Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is called Workhorse Where Is My Money? And um, that might, might sound a bit cryptical but that is because there are some news out about Workhorse. There is a new report out on them uh, made by a shorter and uh, they are saying some really nasty thing about Workhorse. One of them is that they allegedly should have paid YouTubers for talking nicely about the Workhorse company. And since I have made a video or two about Workhorse, I'm just wondering when the check will arrive. So let's dive a bit more into it. First of all, you might remember Workhorse. They are the company that make these electrical last mile delivery trucks here and they are up for a potential contract with the US Postal Service which could be enormous. So um, they have grown quite a lot in price. Let's just have a look here. Uh, when I made my first video I think it was down here around 5-6 ish down here where I bought it. And I should say right away that right now I'm not in the stock. So I don't have any bias right now as to if it should go up or, or down. I don't have any interest in talking it up or, or talking it down because right now I'm out. I have traded this as a technical trade, meaning that when I buy here and it goes up like crazy, I go down on my four hour time frame look at the black line which is uh, 20 SMA and I went out, I went in around five and a half and I went out uh, around 15 ish up here making a nice profit. Now when it started moving again, it went sideways for a while and when it started moving here uh, in the beginning of uh, September, I bought it again just below 20 and uh, from the four hour time uh, frame here, I went out around, I think it was 24, 20, something like that. So right now I'm out of the stock and uh, I'm trying to pick the swings here the way I do it, meaning that of course I risk uh, not having the big jump if and when they get the contract with the US Postal Service. But that is how it is. Now let's get to this report because that is made by a group called Fuzzy Panda Research. Now, I'm not completely certain how you pick a name like that. I think they have been drinking a lot of scotch one night and trying to come up with a name for their, for their company or their little research group and Fuzzy Panda Research. Yeah, well, you can pick whatever name you want. Now, just to be clear, I don't have any problem with Shorters making a report like this. Not if they are right. Meaning that if I uh, go short a stock, let's say I was uh, I went short in Workhorse or Nikola or whatever stock it is on the stock market, and it is a truly bad company that is hyped up, uh, gone from ten dollars to five hundred dollars, and I do my research and I can see wow, this is a really crappy company and the management are, are, are scammers and fraudsters and and so on then I have no problem with a shorter going out, making a really detailed report and saying, hey, we are short and now this is the evidence why, because this is a really shitty investment. I have no problem with shorters making money there. What I do have a problem with are manipulators and that doesn't, I don't care if it is a long analyst or short analysts, if they are going out spreading false information about a company, that could be false good information when they are long or it could be false uh, bad information if they're short. Then they should be punished. I should say I have no idea if this information is, is wrong. Uh, I am diving into the report and I'll get you a more in-depth evaluation of it uh, later, maybe today or maybe in the weekend. But um, there are some add-ons here, there are some details I would like to comment on though. So that was just to make it clear, no problem with shorters going out. I can see that with the Nikola, one of the, the main objection I have got the most time uh, when I have talked about the Nikola is that, um, that that was the Hindenburg report that went out saying that Hin uh, Nikola was pretty much one big scam. 
And that was the same information I have found, so I pretty much agreed with them. But the main objective many people have said is, yeah, well, they are short, so you can't trust them. Funny enough, the same people, they don't mind believing a positive story about a company from an analyst that are, that are long the stock. So that is the exact same picture here. So we do like because often we are long a stock and then an, an analyst comes out and saying, yeah, this is a fantastic investment and we just think they are great and good at their work. But when we are long a stock and uh, uh, Hindenburg comes out and saying, yeah, this is a really crappy company, then we get annoyed and irritated because it goes against our bias. So I think that is where most of it is. All right, let's get into a bit of the details here because when I read through this, uh, I tried to figure out a lot of the details here and there are really many technical details and I'm trying to get into many of these. However, I came upon something down here. <clears throat> Introducing YouTube stock promotions uncovered. So what they are looking at here is that Workhorse and Lordstown Motors are the subjects of one of the most aggressive stock promotion schemes we have ever witnessed. We have documented more than 420 Workhorse stock promotional videos with more than uh, with each more than a thousand views since June. We didn't even count the other thousand with below uh, 1000 uh, views. In all, we have found uh, greater than 80 individual stock promoters for workhorse. All right. So what they're doing here is that they believe this is illegal stock promotion. They simply believe that these YouTubers here, that they are promoting the stock for money so that they, the company have contacted, contacted these YouTubers and say, hey, for a certain amount of money, would you speak nicely about our company? And um, well, what I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit I've, I've looked through this list and there's a big appendix in, in the end of the, uh, and at, at the end of the report, and I'm not on the list. I couldn't find Building Freedom anywhere. I actually made a couple of videos and I think they have above 1000 views. And my question is to Workhorse, of course, where's my money? Did you send them to the wrong place? Because I haven't received anything. I'm, I'm really, really disappointed with you, Workhorse, here. Now, the thing is that of some of these on the name, I, I know a lot of them uh, because I've seen their YouTube channels and at least three or four of them, I know because I'm writing with them and I've had uh, Skype chats with them. And I am quite confident that they have not taken any money here. And some of them have even, even though they have made some positive videos, they have also been critical about Workhorse on, on some places. So honestly, I cannot see this as, an, a, as a really serious point of, of, of stock hype. It is 100% certain that there's a lot of hype going on on YouTube and internet. There's no doubt about it. And I'm very critical about that. And I think that when you are listening to my videos and everybody else's videos, you should be critical and do your own research and so on that I keep saying. But there are, as I say, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm pretty sure not many of these are financial advisors here on the list. So you should not believe everything you hear on YouTube or on the internet. But they have taken up some examples of these 40 channels. There's this 20-year-old uh, guy sitting in his parents' basement talking about stocks. Um, all right. And uh, we have uh, this guy, George Perez, here, um, that they also think that uh, is, has been promoted. And then this girl, I actually didn't know her, JT Wealth. And they're not really, they're not saying anything about her post, but what they are saying is that there's a, a wine glass down here. So of course, therefore it cannot be true. So that keeps going on here. And, uh, and then they're talking about these giving interviews. And you could wonder why a business CEO would give an interview to a, a, a YouTuber. And there's no doubt that of course they see the opportunity of promoting their videos to a lot of retail traders, maybe some Robin Hooders, and maybe there is some stock hype pumping up in it. I should not say that, that there isn't. What I'm pretty sure of is that these YouTubers are not receiving money from it. But of course, the, that is the exact same thing 
that I say when we read through uh, the investor's prospect of some certain company I'm finding, I'm always saying to you, now remember this is sales material. This is because that the CFO and the investor relations management, they want to give the best possible picture out to as many people as possible so they buy their stock. And that is, of course, you could call it hype, but if the company has some quality in it, uh, that should not really be a problem. But uh, this uh, fuzzy panda here, what they're called, they see a, a big problem in the CEO going in in front of a YouTuber. And I don't know, you could argue here, but YouTube is a huge, huge media. It is the second largest search engine on the internet. And um, when we have a, 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 a big YouTuber like Jack Spencer here, he has a channel way larger than mine. When you have a, an, an influencer like this, of course you, you want to be in front of his, I don't know, 50 or 70,000 uh, subscribers here. I don't really see anything bad in this, at least not in the sense that we can call it the biggest stock hype scheme in the history um, at all. So just this case, I, I think that puts it in the report in a bit of a bad lighting here. But as I said, I want to go uh, some at some deeper diving here. It might be in this weekend and I'll try to give you my idea as to uh, what I think of the quality here. Some of the things they're talking about is some brake failure and some technical aspects. And to be honest, I'm not sure that there is a single vehicle producer in the world that has had a, 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 a truck or a car without any technical failures. So I think that some of the uh, points they're taking up, there is a bit more on the technical side, and I'm not seeing this uh, at all at the same scale as the what I would call the Nicola scam, or at least the, the, the way that Trevor Milton has been hyping the, the Nicola stock. But I'll get back to you on that. And um, again, be careful believing all of the stuff you'll, you, you'll see at, at YouTube and Facebook and so on. Of course, there might be some hidden agendas. That is for certain. And there are people pumping up stocks on the internet. If it has happened in the case of Workhorse, well, a lot of the, of the increase in price of Workhorse has been because of the hype around the potential United States uh, Postal Service contract. And that is some of the uh, hype that has gone up here. I'm not certain if that is due to some YouTubers talking in their basements about it. But um, as I said, I'll go deeper in depth with it and I'll let you know through the weekend. So my question is still, workhorse, where's my money? Please contact me so I can get millions and millions of dollars transferred to my account. That's all for now. Take care of yourself and your money out there. Bye for now.